It's it plugged in. Go now. I think that'll work. Awesome. And yeah. now I've got the headphones on, so we're not going to have double feedback echoes. Awesome. Cool. Was that uh? Was that something Santa brought you? The headphones? No. Yeah. Uh. Uh. O- Ogana. Um. Groundhog Wife Woman got me these headphones herself. Uh. And back in 2018, when we returned to the United States from our lovely expat experience in what I still refer to as Latin America. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. The, the memories are fresh and, and still sting. As, <laughs> as you can relate. Yes. Yeah. Stinging, stinging memory. Yes. Stinging. Much like the sun. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we'll see that that's what the stinging was from. It's still suffering from the uh, healing and burnt. Just by all the fucking ointments and things mm. that I slathered upon myself. Didn't matter. Correct. Well, the but there's no antidote out. for the <laughs> Mexican sun. I mean, they their whole clock, oh, they man. built fucking temples to the sun. It's so powerful. Now. Yes, they did. And yes, it is because uh, after being here in Texas for a few weeks now and having to suffer through uh, winter weather in in Texas of all places. Yeah. Um, I can I can tell you that uh, yes I am missing the 85 degrees that it was in Acapulco today. When yeah, I checked you the weather can, earlier, so. kind of makes you long for the old cool cool con days in Tenochtitlan and um, yeah, shout out Quetzalcoatl. Yeah, right. until until I remember the fact that uh, my apartment was effectively underwater two months ago and like there are still areas that are suffering with like diphtheria and cholera and uh don't still don't have electricity not to mention internet yeah. um did you know did you know i actually put together a track with my um music and then brought in a guy's voice over top narrating Part of the um, Codex Aztec, or whatever it is, um, however he says it, in Aztec. But it's the oral history of the Aztec Empire uh, up to uh, Colombian first contact with her name, Cortez. And he's reciting this Codex Aztec, as it were, in Aztec language, hmm. and uh, that that song is called "As Technology." <laughs> See what I did there? Um, I think I've heard that. And one. so, yeah, uh, because that was one of the first songs. In fact, that was the first song of mine that I've ever made that played in Canada. In Canada, I broke. I broke the Canadian airwaves in fucking Aztec first. Like like a boss. Good. Son. And then came in behind Good that for Canada. And hit him with the Nuka. That's right, Fred Durst. I, I did it all for the Nuka. <laughs> which, uh, for those that are uh, historically behind the times, the Nuka crisis is when Russia, Spain, America, and England we're all fighting over a big island at the mouth of the Fraser River that, that we still call Vancouver Island Day. Huh. And it led to a really fucked up end of the boundary line between Canada and the United States with the weird jigger jagger dog legs and Point Robert exclaves and just all kinds of fun yum stuff. Shout out Death Tyrant. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you haven't figured it out yet, we're doing things a little bit different this week. Woo-hoo! Yeah. Today is December 28th, 2023. We are almost done with this godforsaken year, Yona. And I tell you, uh, I've been winding up my kicking boots. I've been, I've been polishing them, right? I've been making sure that the steel toe is, is just right, you know, shining, shining up the leather on them been working out my leg i'm ready to give this year the swiftest kick to help it on its way 
Well, for the best kick in the ass possible. For some damn reason, as I was remixing Spinal Tap's classic Big Bottom earlier today, trying to techno it up a little bit, I decided to bring in Mariah Carey for shits and giggles. Um, Wait, until it, Biden and Harris requested Mariah Carey? Well, no, I just thought, hey, you know, it's Christmas time. I keep hearing the Mariah Christmas songs. I'll just throw a little bit of Mariah Carey on here. I mean, it seems perfectly innocent and innocuous, and she's got a great voice, and then I put it on there, and oh my God, two more doors to hell opened up, and, and I immediately yeeted that, and <laughs> we're starting from scratch. Oh, so it's you. You're the one that's been causing all the chaos this week, opening fucking doors to the demon realm and shit. I've been wondering what was going on with everything. Well, going I just completely. I'm pretty sideways. sure I opened the first one when I thought it would be really cool as a sound effect to do the Klingon in reverse with reverb and echo effect, which sounded really cool on the LD remix of Justified and Ancient. However, yeah, that clearly. I mean, I heard the gates just swing wide open on one of the levels of hell and thought. I'll work on something else now. Um, so what'd you now, work on next? Um, well, that's when I started working on this song, affectionately known as Lisa's Rich Remix, which um, on you know after listening to the whole package, uh, it's a, like a five minute video, but it's actually both versions of the song the instrumental and then which I'll call the instrumental Soma version. <laughs> Shout out Aldous Huxley. Um need more epsilons in your life. Oh they got lovely coon eyes. Anyways, um <laughs> it's a brave new world out there. Oh uh, isn't it ma- though? Just make sure your mic's turned on, Amber. Love you. Um and uh <laughs> shout out Roar Media. Great show last night on transhumanism. Um and uh so I, I'm all over the place here with this music. And and so uh, as I was going down the mountain in West Virginia, hitting the switchbacks, the lyrics came to me. So I did the lyrics and then I got done editing video and put it all together. And finally, when I played it and I got to the end, I was like, oh, man. Oh, man, this would be perfect to add this effect in the video when I'm doing the echoes and and so I get done with it. I'm like, this this whole song kind of sounds like an advertisement for Grand Theft World, but in a native advertising way. But then I figured hmm. I could give myself a pass because I make native music all the time. Right. Um, and advertising autonomy and how you can synergize with fellow autonomy minded individuals um i guess it is advertising a a different way you know slavery and government dependence uh, you know yawn and having your opinions delivered to you granted requires less effort Mm -hmm. um and you also end up with less of a life. So, you know. True. Well, you end up with less of everything, pretty much. And so I guess what just defines the truthiness qualities of our Grand Theft World community is that uh, we're really into living life. Well, I mean, that's Could, the whole be more point of being alive, isn't it? Yeah. Is is to actually like live and do stuff and experience things and, and build things. Right. It turns out that's become more of a challenge in, uh, you know, when, when it comes to this whole euthanasia thing. And and, and I'm speaking of the, the birth rates in China, of course, uh, and mercy killing. No, I, I, I thought it. you were speaking about health care in Canada, but, you know, that's just me. Uh, well, I you call the, the maid headlines. for that. <laughs> just, yeah. just call the maid that you they'll meet you at the Timmy Ho's parking lot. You can get a hex biscuit and. Uh, Maybe some potassium chloride, or should I say, shout out Jim Jones. It's 
spending quite a year. We're going to do a year in review, but to start the year off. Oh, is that in tonight? Review, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, to start the year off in All review, right. right. We're going to start before we look backwards. We're going to get up on our tippy toes here. Uh, I speak of, uh, Colonel Drizzle and yours truly, majorly. Hi, Yona. As I told the AM Wake Up crew this morning, um, we did check tonight's weather report, mm-hmm. and I can confirm it is a steady drizzle with a 420% chance of more weeds. So um, with that being said... Uh, it's going to be a good night. We're both getting up on our tippy toes to peer over the top of this great, great wall of China to... Take in the new owners. See how um, Xi Jinping Pooh Bear is uh, feeling about his, his new um, province of China. Because, you know, for those that are unaware, China looks like a big beast on the map now. Um, but mm-hmm. back in the old Han Solo Empire days, shout out Han Solo Empire, um, it was much smaller, just Peking and, and, and a few flocks of ducks. Uh, and next thing you know, they're conquering Canton, they're conquering Tianjin and Xinjiang and Yin Yang twins. And, uh, and that's how we get oh, the Whisper Song. All of those song. guys. They wore those song. crazy suits. Came right out of the Yellow River. Yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, and then they built the Three Gorges Dam, ATL Dam. Um, so... Uh, that's how we end up with this whole Shang Kai Shek Mao Zedong rip between Taiwan and China, because Taiwan is literally like the pearl of China. It's the biggest, largest island right outside of Shanghai and Beijing, just right in its face, and mm-hmm. it's the perfect homie club to just keep beating China in the face, saying, "Homie, don't play that." Oh, one China policy, right? Okay. Um, and so you got this whole gamesmanship going on with the United States. And meanwhile, China, you know, itself across China, there's still over 250 dialects of indigenous languages spoken that predate Chinese imperial conquering. And so China's an empire, been an empire for quite some time. They've conquered their neighbors and such. Uh, some of their neighbors conquered them, and that's why they built the Great Wall of China, because um, <laughs> the Mongols kept kicking their ass. It's, well, yeah, the Mongols the milk. kicked pretty much everybody's ass. Yeah, and if you were Including drinking that much Japanese. yak milk. Yeah. Yak milk, dude. It, it It's the fucking yak milk. That's the secret. Oh, I don't, and I don't doubt it at all. Yeah, I've heard that yak mead is not only delicious, but is one of the most nutritious in terms of like red meat, you know, because you got your, your regular cattle, uh, you got bison, you got buffalo, you got yak. Bison is also quite good. You can find that at your uh, local uh, meadery. If, if you can find bison, buy some. Exactly. And it's tasty. And best, thing, too. Uh, best thing for yak, I'll tell you what pairs perfect with yak called cognac that's right saint remy martin hennessy martel or alizé some blend some some blended cognac yeah and add in some passion fruit too mm. uh, i it, think you know with i think John new C. year's Devorak is almost here red wine with his yak but uh don't quote me on that. new year's eve is almost here and and that means um the ghost of dick clark will be brought <sighs> back to life by ryan Seacrest, enough. and uh they'll drop that big nasty ball on new york again uh, hopefully it's not raining that day because that would be another catastrophic flood for new york because they have a 500 year flood event every time it rains now due to the failure of the storm sewers mm-hmm. um, anyway <laughs> um there's that so yeah so many things to cover but we're gonna take a look into the future first the future and take and 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 prog- we're going to begin the year in review by the initial prognostication of I'm declaring 2024 to be the great American year of CC penis. That's right, folks. Uh-oh. It's going to be a Chinese sausage fest all year. Chitty bacon, chitty chicken, 
chitty beef, chitty fish. Who's ready for some 15-minute chitty? There it is. All right, I guess that's and supposed so, to be my cue, right? And so here we are. Who's ready for a mouthful of CC penis? Shout out to the uh, communist Chinese Communist Party. This magnificent banquet marks the end of our stay in the People's Republic of China. And uh, uh, shout out to DJ Khaled. Here's another this was one. the week that changed the world. What we will do in the years ahead to build a bridge across 16,000 miles and 22 years of hostility which have divided us in the past. No lyrics on this one. in there 2023 was the lucky year apparently well i mean two plus two plus three is seven so China like CC penis characteristics revolution centrally planned by Beijing command capitalist solution box flooded in violence communist silent Dick. I'm not a criminal. Yeah. Why did he always look like he was constipated? <laughs> he was. It was the end. Oh, yeah. No. Oh. He was a kink. But not as much as LBJ. We're not, we, yeah. That, that's a whole nother show right there. Oof. Oh, yeah. L- LBJ was into the crazy shit. Oh, yeah. F- I haven't 50 heard shades about that. of LBJ. For real. Wow. Whoa, dude. Whoa. I. Doesn't right. surprise me though. Straight up Texan perv. Bro. <laughs> why do you why do you think they call the ring around the uh, Dallas bathtub the LBJ? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> uh it was crazy. Him and his wife had the same <laughs> initials. LBJ. Yep. Right. Ladybird. Yep. Which I think she did actually officially change her name to Ladybird, didn't she? Yeah. Yep, that's true. All facts. Crazy. So, um, so the CC penis, uh, in in prognosticating for twenty twenty four. Where where are we going here? What, what are um, you saying? It, it this is going to be the year of China. Oh, you think? Oh, yeah. Big time. I mean, this is the year when it's just, you know, when when the referee Mills Lane actually declares the celebrity death match and calls it for China because the growth rates, everything is going to be surpassing the U.S. And, and, and it's not like I'm 
picking up pom poms and cheering for China because I mean, bro, look at all the brand new freeway bridges and high speed rail viaducts and shit that keep collapsing. And there's all of these corruption scandals going on with the construction contractors in China. And so, I mean, it's it, it's suffering the same fate as all these other professional managerial classes with mm -hmm. almost no um yeah. self policing i mean they 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 police themselves and so you've got these major <laughs> ccp party members that's why they're being who replaced. are cashing it in uh and then they get caught get, mm -hmm. you know i mean it's literally like on uh, austin powers dr evil type shit where they all go to beijing they're sitting around a table and motherfucker pushes a button and should they just slide right down and shoot into fucking flames or a shark tank or whatever? I mean, it's. I mean, there's nowhere more grand theft world than China, and I mean, you know, Cecil Rhodes and the British knew that. That's why. Uh, I I don't know. I, it's I, called I, opium, I, folks. Uh, smoke some. I anyway, personally, personally, better yeah. yet, give it to the Chinese. Um, we'll end I'm, up with I'm Hong not Kong. trying to. I'm not trying to like uh, start anything here. But I would actually argue that Libya is a lot more grand theft worldier uh, than China is right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to give it the edge due to the current slave market. Yeah, yeah, open air, open air slave markets. Those are the best. Like if you're if you're down for for you know some some human slavery. You can do and a so, closed air market if you want, but man, it mm, the smell. You know, I, I actually watched one of the videos of the slave market put up on oh, TikTok, Jesus. Uh and listened to the Arabic um auctioneer. And um in a twisted, perverted way, I thought, you know, their auctioneer skills are really fucking busted. And it's a damn shame that we couldn't get some Oklahoma or Texas cattle auctioneers to learn some Arabic. Hmm. Maybe go over to Benghazi and help these guys learn the true cadence of an auctioneer. Um, but, I, like I said, it was a sick and perverted idea because they're auctioning, um, turns out, human beings, which is not cool. Not hmm. cool. Um well, I mean, but, that's, you know, that's I, what we were taught in government school. But uh, <laughs> apparently, if you have enough power and enough influence, you can do pretty much whatever you want to in this world. Even the stuff that is supposedly bad. You can do that stuff, too. And you don't have to really worry about anything. We're just getting all these beeps and notifications that's so i was checking my phone because i am expecting a certain package um all right but right. it wasn't from them and so never mind that dumb shit um yes i know i have to reload my phone tomorrow oh, walmart thanks for yeah. reminding me every hour on the hour right. well i mean they want to make sure you're safe right they don't want you to go without cell service for an hour because something might happen to you Oh, I, I do it all the time. I let it lapse for two or three days at a time for those that have tried to call me sometimes and says it's no longer a valid number. Um, yeah, I just hadn't reloaded my phone yet. Because why? I mean, I, it's just for work. Hmm. Not like I use it for fun. I, I'm just not a cell phone kind of guy. Hmm. It's not the Yona. You know what I'm saying? And there's oftentimes I find myself in um, areas of no coverage. I'm cool with that. I would imagine, yeah, especially cool in that. in West Virginia. Does, yeah. does West Virginia still have uh, the exclusivity agreement with U.S. Cellular? Like, is that yeah. still in play? Yes. Jesus. Yeah. Why? That's ridiculous, man. Because nobody wants to pay for towers. There's, like, no population there, and so why even bother? Um, uh, but, you know, what used to be looked at as a weakness as a drawback now the fact that you've got whole areas of the state whole you know some counties more than 80 percent of the county there's no running water 
there's no cable internet, there's no cable TV, there's no electricity, no sewage systems, and no internet coverage, uh, and you're totally, completely the fuck off the grid. Um, which is not necessarily a bad thing, it turns out. Sometimes it's good to be off grid, you know, when your social credit score says, um, well, it's not even a number, it just says kill Yona now. So, you know, wow, if you that's have to low. Kill him, yeah, that's low. That you must be under like 500. I, I blame Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian, all of them, for, for, for putting that shit on me. Uh, well, the good thing is uh, there are going to be new players in the social credit game uh, coming very, very soon. So uh, you will have more corporations to victimize. So what's wild is, is we're seeing all of this disinvestment in the United States, and all of this controlled demolition in the United States. Meanwhile, loads of venture capital and investment are pouring into Burma slash Myanmar, mm -hmm. pouring into Thailand slash Bangkok land, pouring into Vietnam um, slash formerly occupied Indochina, France, United States. Pick your era. Right. Um, and so we'll just call that whole area Southeast Asia on the whole, from basically India up to China, but not including China. So Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, that, that whole area there, that's the new center of the world in terms of infrastructure, in terms of railroads being built, new ports being built, new freeways mm -hmm. being built. I mean, just as a civil engineer, I'm just watching the map. It fucking explode from New Delhi all the way to fucking Jakarta. It, it just and, and Vietnam has turned into an economic powerhouse. That you may recall, Joe Biden went to Vietnam earlier this year, and he decided to answer a reporter's question. It's really weird. He doesn't do that. Fortunately, the He's handlers not were there, to do that. and they were like, "Okay, okay." Remember how he always over. says, "I'm going to get in trouble if I talk to you guys." Right. He's not he supposed to be talking that. to reporters. He literally said, "I'm getting in trouble for answering this question." Yeah. But, and that's when they all start yelling, "Okay, okay," press conference over, and then they get the band to start playing, mm -hmm. and they literally half fake played him out, bro. They did, hit him with the Oscar music. Old dude came out with the wrap <laughs> it up, bro. Wrap, 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 wrap it up, bro. <laughs> wrap it up. And they fucking Scarface played out. Scarface is over there in the corner with, with the thing. like some jazz music. Like, holy shit. That's funny. But anyways, that's been the story of the pandemic. That's been the story of this year as inflation has further and further intensified. Mm -hmm. And I really haven't heard too many people talking about Vietnam and Thailand. And no, I haven't heard anybody talking on about that. Anybody's radar. But hey, I'm making Vietnamese remixes and everything. And you, I, I think you played that on another show. We don't need to go back to that again. Um, so. Probably, I don't know. I don't know. The one with um, the one with Hanoi Hannah, where it says G I. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think we G. might have even played that on uh, Town Hall. Yeah, I think we did that too. Yeah. yeah. Um, but anyways, that that's a long winded roundabout way of uh, premiering for the Odyssey audience because I've not uploaded this to Odyssey. Uh. The brand spanking new native advertising project of the Yona for Grand Theft World Enterprises, aka Tragedy and Hope, Agora.com Autonomy. Because freedom is the way, folks. You know, if you find yourself on the path to slavery, um, you could turn around. I would. But, you know, you do you. Um, but, you know, if you decide to turn around from that, 
path of slavery. Um, well, this is what you can look forward to. Um, in a nutshell, truth comes with love. Lies comes with a big old hairy fuck. So, you know, you'll start to figure it out. Um, did I send you the link for the brand new Lisa's Rich remix? And for those that aren't aware, uh, Lisa and Rich are the, the Pharaoh and Pharaoh S. Of our great Egyptian empire. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's, there's no masters, no rulers here. Uh, they're just a couple of cool folks uh, who like to share knowledge and wisdom and help make oh. people free. So we're pharaohs and pharaohesses, masters of the universe. They were the, uh, they were the rulers of their people. Yeah, you that's know, true. That's that's goes back into the whole divine right of kings bullshit you know you know that 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 just made me look at Ramesses and imhotep and king tut in a very he man and gay way you, you just made egypt more gay for me drizzle thank you look at the coffee story here when the humankind about to die the soldiers of lord jama called Umatud, will come up to bring the souls go to hell for a trial the picture here, there are three panels. The panel on the top is Brahmins and royalties. They believe that they were God incarnations and they had committed lots of good deeds to release their sins from their previous lives. And now they are going back up to paradise. The panel in the middle, they are getting hosted and carried with a sedan chair by the servants, sending them to see the God. But the panel at the bottom here is depicted about the sinners who had violated Thirsty? the supreme discipline. Keep it moist. The soldiers humatude put handcuffs, pierced Have some soma. and wrists to tie the wire to them in case they try to escape and drag them to hell. Along the path to the Lord Yama's palace is guided by big soldiers called Jumabal and fearsome creatures to keep everything under control like birds, dogs, serpents, elephants, rhinoceros, and other animals. Lord Jama had six dogs. They all yeah, don't forget the rhinoceros. He did get that in. The god of fire. He is in charge of the work in leading the deaths to the capital, Jamapura. When the souls arrive at the gateway, they will be met by the gatekeeper named Vichata and then two attendants. When they have gotten inside, named Kalapurasa and Mohachanda, both attendants. Everyone watching this live. You should be keeping and track of all of these names. Respect. There will be a pop quiz at After the end that, of tonight's class. They will be given the holy water called Soma, Soma to drink to erase all their memories from the earthly life before meeting the great God. Noticeably, in hell, no light. Everywhere is dark. The light of the sun and the moon cannot reach this world. Only the capital city, Yamapura, is brightened. The light is sparkled from the palace, Sama Yamuni which is constructed out of gold and gemstones. And this palace has been considered as the most beautiful palace in the universe, even more beautiful than the palace of God Indra and Vishnu. In the Supreme Court, Lord Yama got 18 arms, each one holding a holy club, sitting in his grand throne of judgment majestically, and listening to his two secretaries carefully. One named Chetrakuta controls the soul going down to get punished in the 32 levels of hell. Another one named Kales controls the souls going up to heaven to consume happiness and enjoyment. They are consulting a massive register, reading the worldly deeds as well as what the deaths have done when they have life on earth, one up after another, based on the evidences. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, look, grab me by the boo boo. How about those Cherokee masks? Those are masks. Those, those are Cherokee wooden masks, and Holy they shit. are effective at stopping the coronavirus. Well, if everyone had just worn those, uh, there would have been no scam demic. Mentally They propaganda and and so we rise above truth comes with love
past times you had chance while they used to die. Trippy. To survive and thrive, we re energize. I forgot to tell everyone to take their mushrooms or the song. Actualize more than stretch it jazz. Don't cross the test. No. San Pedro cactus. Ayahuasca. Also pair well with the song. Stick with the words and synergize. when grant their world prize. paradise based on lotus petals and supported by Garudas. Life in here is full of happiness and enjoyment and it can live forevermore. That's pretty wild. That was it was uh mellow. It was kind of tame. Like I, you know, I always expect more uh up tempo from the Yona. But it was yeah, very uh... uh very not quite somber, but, um, you know, it was just very reserved and very measured. Well, when I went to piecing that together after I edited, you know, I recorded the raw vocals and then started editing it together. Uh, because it was like a Grand Theft World song, stylistically, I wanted it to sound more like the Grand Theft World theme. And so, to me, like, for example, if you play the Daniel with Cannabis remix where he raps, where he's got LD rapping and everything in, in the Grand Theft World theme, which, you know, I've made my own remix of the Grand Theft World theme that you've used on some videos, but um, this is, I feel like, the same somber feel of the Grand Theft World theme. But completely different harmony and melody. But uh, it's all about the message. Um, you know that that song originally had five verses, and I boiled it down to just two verses. Oh wow! One of the songs where I just went through with the line, and I just kept removing words and boiling it down and getting it shorter and shorter and shorter until all of a sudden that song is just two minutes and forty seconds long, which is what I was going for. Because you know, the whole point of autonomy is to plant the seed far be it from us to know where that seed's going to take root which ground is the most fertile ground you know green is the the grass is greener where you water it um unless or where the animals good. gather right right so you know um to me our our contribution to the ether is in not only manufacturing reality, but showing people how reality is in fact itself manufactured. And there it is, folks. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I I don't think I could have summed it up any better. I don't know. This is how we're punching through. This yeah. is how we're reaching people. Uh, I hope and, so. And what's I hope we're well, punching through and reaching is... people. I, I I have no idea. I have no way of knowing. I don't think people understand that. Like, I literally, I have no idea how many people actually listen to Liberty Radio. And I kind of like it that way. You know? Well, it's making a difference. It's I don't know. Absolutely I, have no, I, have, I don't even know how to measure that. 
How would I go about measuring that? Well, to me, I measure it in all of the people coming in to uh, and the interlocking circles, right? So, for example, uh, earlier tonight, Jimmy Dore had Alex Jones on his show. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the first time, they were talking uh, since the last time Jimmy Dore was face to face with Alex Jones and spit right into his mouth, and and they laughed it off and had quite the uh, long long interview. Uh, especially for Jimmy Dore, he's not used to being drug drug along that long, and of course Alex Jones is a big headed beast that normally powers through four hour shows day after day after day after day. Um, but he's got a cadre too. I mean, look, colloidal silver ain't going to sell itself. Anyways, um, no. so they're going through, and Alex Jones mentions Carol motherfucking Quigley in one of Carol Quigley's books. And, you know, which book? Uh, the Evolution of Civil Society. Fantastic book. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, so, um, like if you want to understand just, history, folks, like that is the only book you should read. Read that book, there. and then, yeah. I I wouldn't even go to tragedy and help first, but I mean that, that this is something that we got into hmm. earlier. Um, I guess it was town hall. Well, I believe I, I believe even Rich said that that yeah. is the Quigley book yeah. that people should start with. Yeah, because I posed that question to Rich in the last town hall. That's right. Yeah, that's he went, well. That's he where right I heard it, it then. Yeah, he went right to it. Yeah, and it's not a difficult read when you compare it to, you know, Anglo American Empire or Tragedy and Hope or any of the other things that that Quigley produced. Like Evolution of Civilizations is an easy read by Quigley standards. Because he had to write it more than once. And they were fighting him on it. I mean, he, he really... He, he started locking horns with the publisher and the fuck shit ensued. And it got to the point that it turned his bright optimism into a giant yuletide log of Mr. Hanky pessimism to the point that the remakes I made, you know, Tragedy and Hope, the song, with Jaw Jock, the Sudanese, child soldier come turned Canadian rapper and uh yeah the whole song I just got him on repeat we're fucked I used to have yeah. hope for civilization but and eh, not anymore I think we're just about finished <laughs> poor guy poor guy I mean man jeez man and think about think about this <laughs> Yona let's see when did Quigley die it was in the seventies, right? Yeah, late seventy. What seventy six? See, let's go to the book of knowledge and find out for sure. I'm glad, uh, by the way, that you brought uh, those uh, musical interludes for us to enjoy this evening, because since it has been such a crazy week here in the Piney Woods, uh, I, I literally did no prep for the show tonight. I just want to make sure that everyone is aware uh, that I did nothing to prepare for the show. Awesome. Have you ever played my uh, Requiem song that I made with Dead Fella, where Dead Fella remixed my song, Disc Urged uh, Phosphorus Eyes? Hmm. That, that's a song that I made back in June. I don't know if I have. When... Because last June, Israel was bombing Gaza. Well, let me be specific. <laughs> last June of 2023, Israel was bombing Gaza. Yeah. Not to be confused with January, February, March, April, May, July, August, September, October, November, December of 2023, or any of the other months of the other years. Correct. Um, for about the last 40 years. Um, so, you know. Uh, uh, 60. Uh, yeah, well, uh, you know, give or take twenty years. I mean, it depends yeah. on what you consider a, a a proper bombing. All right, so Carol Quigley, Carol Quigley, according to uh, Wikipedia, the Book of Knowledge, 
which I will put the link in the show notes for anyone that doesn't believe me. Uh, Carol Quigley died January 3rd, 1977. So he did not even live to see the last 45 years of decay, Yona. Oh, he man. did not live to see the decadent 80s and the apathetic 90s uh, and and the warmongering uh, aughts. Man, I thought Quigley died at the end of 76, but turns uh, out he died January the 3rd of 77. Yeah. He was so Missed upset it by that much. So upset that Jimmy Carter had been elected president that he uh, he just lost the will to live. He knew something well, that the rest of us did not. I guarantee you that. You're, you, in Carter's shadow, you're missing what really drove the stake through Quigley's heart and why he lost all hope altogether. Yeah. Two words for you. Walter fucking Mondale. Oh, well, I, I oh. would have thought it was. Female, yeah, you but, forgot about that one, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Uh-huh. I did. Yeah. Because I only know Mondale as the failed uh, presidential candidate. I was he was a VP. Young. Yeah, I was too young when Carter was in office. I don't remember much of any of that. And and he had to follow in the footsteps of the previous vice president, the the only vice president I believe to never have been elected. Oh, and that would be uh, New York's favorite yeah. Nelson Rockefeller. Good Nelly old Rock. Nelly boy. Yeah. Nelson Aldrich. Which was also uh who he was named after. Uh, the New York oh Senator, I believe, Nelson Aldrich, from back That's around right. the time of Jekyll Island, he had uh, had his hand in all of that business. That's right. Yeah, it's a rich I mean, you tapestry. Know, one as, day the uh, Titanic sinks, next day, you know, hey, happen. let's get an income tax going. Hello, Georgia. Uh, it's Jekyll Island. Yep. Um, Which they actually and, uh, ran a special telegraph line uh, out to Jekyll Island just for this meeting so that they could stay in contact with what was going on in New York. You know, just outside of Jekyll Island, you've got, was it New Brunswick, Georgia, which they've got an orange mosque there that I like to call the peach cobbler. Anyway, um, it's the black cobblers in Mecca. Anyways, uh, uh uh, uh, you got to love your Southern uh, jokes with the uh, Muslim angle. So I'm looking for. Jeez, how long ago was this song made? Oh, yeah, well, it turns out. Biscotti is here. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Um, well, well, it turns out made this song back in June. And then wouldn't you know it? Um, not J6, 07. Yeah, 07 happened. <laughs> uh, Discouraged instrumental piano only. Okay, there's the song. What is it? That was just the instrumental. Oh. Uh, we want the one with uh, the lyrics. Red Storm got the joke. So your joke there is, it is. Not in vain. There, so I, I posted this song 27 and a half weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, and now over the last um, over the last eight weeks or so, nine weeks now, I think they've killed about 26,000 Palestinians. I don't know how many thousand. That's all? Um, Dude, well, that's all they've been able to count. They've been using 2,000-pound bombs, and they've only killed 26,000 people out of 2 million? Well, that's they all they've suck. accounted for because uh, there's so many still buried in the rubble that are just missing but not declared dead. Well, what's what's the the number of missing? Because probably most of them are dead. You well, know, see, that's, just like Lahaina. That's the whole problem when you go to get numbers because the numbers that you get from Gaza are from <laughs> so you can't believe it. No. Right. Uh, all right, let's go to Discord. It just and there it amazes is... me. It amazes me uh, that it's now almost three months that this has been going on. 
like literally wholesale slaughter is being carried yeah. out uh, by a state against uh, what basically amounts to a defenseless people. Like we haven't seen that in history before. Right, right. And like the whole world is just like, <gasps> what's for dinner? Hashtag live stream genocide. And uh, for those that are keeping track, yes, on Christmas Day, at the actual Catholic Church of the Nativity, built around the alleged manger site where the Son of Man himself was born into this world and visited by three wise men in the Arabic city of Bethlehem, uh, meat house or or Bethlehem, right? Um, Israel raided the fuck out of Bethlehem on Christmas Day, so um, Christmas was canceled. Well, that's right. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we, but we, we you know we already covered that. Radio, yeah, yeah. We, this is water was like under two the, weeks ago. Yeah, th this is water yeah. under a, a burning uh, Crimean bridge at this point. Year in review. Um, hmm. So. Uh, Got that one in there. Now let me see. God so did you forbid, can I find the other requiem? Because we have two requiem songs here. Because there's also a huge pile of corpses that have been piling up since the Maidan coup in the Ukraine. I want to say it was 2014, maybe. When Victoria Newland yeah. and Yachts yeah. is our guy. I and believe that was 2014. McCain yeah. was over there playing hacky sack. And, yeah. you know, old, they were doing uh, sandwiches. And, old hot Vic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Boom, there it is, 2014. Yeah. See, I'm telling you, I, that's why people fuck yeah. with you. Know, Dude, have you seen... Elephant memory. Have you seen pictures of Victoria <laughs> Newland when she was younger? Like when she was in her 20s? Yeah, she's hot. I she bet. was hot. Yeah. That's oh, what evil dude. does to you people. Look at Victoria Newland. And look now. at her now. Oh my look god. Look at her now and imagine having Emperor sex Palpatine. with her. Oh my god. I couldn't. I could I no. It's it's stuff nightmares are made of, man. You kidding me? Especially like the, the flaps on her neck. Oh good God. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Upper deck cankle. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so we're digging for a song called Sevastopol or Sebastopol or however you want to say it. I don't know. Uh, did you did you watch the Jimmy Dore Alex Jones thing? Yes, I, I watched it live. So what was okay. what was your opinion of what you observed? I was on pins and needles waiting for the Gaza subject to be broached. And after they talked it out about spitting in the mouth and getting high with Willie and stuff, it finally turned to Gaza. And, um, you know, it's just ever so apparent that it felt to me like, like one of those, uh, Tim Cast uh, brew ha ha's where he gets everybody into the trailer, but this time Jimmy Dore was invited. But it was Jimmy Dore's show, and Alex was there. But uh, long and the short so, of it wait, is, was Alex the in more... the studio? No, he he was uh, so he via, was, uh, he was video over the okay. Was Kurt uh, there? Was Kurt a part of it? Kurt was there. Yes, interesting. Uh, and what was weird about it was that you know, of course that. A huge part of the beginning after spitting the mouth, um, Jimmy Dore then went back to his old uh, aggressive progressive show and showed the show that he did the very day that Alex Jones first got banned from Twitter and said, this is terrible for free speech and we should be supporting Alex Jones. And then after that happened, Julian Assange and all this stuff. And hmm. so they went into that. But finally, when they got to the subject of Gaza, he touched on it a little bit. Jimmy pushed back a little bit, and then they dove into this very different conversation where Alex Jones is talking about the alien people and how he has these low-oxygen dreams where 
he sees these sparkling, glittering palaces and cities and the cosmos and everything. Um, and for what he just said on the interview, and like that immediately made me think about the song that we just played, hmm. uh, Lisa's Rich Mix, where he's talking about. Um, oh, no. Hang on a second. Uh oh. That was. Um, Hang on, I have to go on here and stop this. I'm so sorry. That was Dead Fella trying to call me live from Bangladesh. Oh, nice. Well, it's morning there now, I think. And... Maybe afternoon. I don't know. I've never been to Bangladesh. I've heard a lot about it. Now, I'm so sorry. No, it's all good. No. All right, about it. there we go. Oh, wow. So he just got done remixing another track and just sent it to me and wanted to talk about it. So I'll uh-huh. have to message him that, hey, we're live on a show. Come on the show and talk to us about it. Mm. Can, yeah, I guess we could do that. But more than likely, yeah, he's in the studio doing his thing. Another grand desktop is not responding. Of course it's not. <laughs> but it will eventually. All right. Um, so Jimmy, it sounds like Jimmy didn't have his claws out for Alex. No, uh-huh. no. Instead, it was a big Alex Jones love fest. Why? Like, all right. <clears throat> why? Why now? Why? Why is this happening now? Why is Alex Jones becoming the darling of media again now? I don't know. It feels kind of icky. Yeah. It feels real icky. It feels contrived. It feels staged. It feels scripted. It feels like all of those things. Yes. And Elon Musk as well. Thank you, Riot Storm. It's like when I was helping these uh, Mexicans do roofing one summer. And, um, one of the Mexicans never wore underwear. He was always commando. The one always, every other word he said was verga, verga, verga. And, um, all right, now I can finally message this uh, live. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, it, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Yeah. Okay. I mean, why hasn't anybody called out Alex Jones about the whole, they're going to lock us down hard again. We're not going to have a Christmas. It's going to be a, a total police state by New Year's prediction that he made back at the beginning of October that none of the shit he said happened. And he had, he had whistleblowers. He had documents. <laughs> Where's it at? Exactly. I mean, you know, they didn't do uh, shit. A lot of they didn't do really anything. Like they didn't even yeah. try to do anything. They didn't order uh, uh, equipment and paraphernalia to do anything. Nothing. But sure nobody, nobody calls them out, and and I don't get it. So I'm looking for Sevastopol. And I'm not finding it on the rumble Uh-oh. as of yet. Huh. You check it Odyssey? Be, uh, it may be on Odyssey. I would think if it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be on Odyssey. That's been your most consistent channel. Because it's never been deleted. Correct. Shout out Odyssey. It, exactly. Uh, That's why I chose Odyssey as well. But the funny thing is, is the people that chose Rumble are about to be very, very disappointed with their choice. I think that's one of the things that they have to look forward to in 2024. If you thought the censorship in 2020 was bad, that was that was just the test run, folks. Like the actual hardware is coming into play in 2024. 
And what humans were in charge of doing in 2020 is now going to be done by machines. So it's going to be much, much quicker. It's not going to be more efficient. It's not going to be more fair. It's not going to be more balanced. None of those things. It's just going to be faster. Holy shit. I put in searching DJ Hyone on Odyssey, and the first thing that popped up was something from a guy named Kingsley L. Dennis. Initiation, the full EP by Dr. Dennis and Deadfella featuring DJ Hi Yona. Boom. I think that's me. That is you. Holy shit, I, I should probably listen to that album. <laughs> Apparently everybody else did. Not right um, now. Right, let's see here. Uh, okay, Hi Yona with the lower cast. Let's go to content. Did I upload Sevastopol? Sebastopol. Yeah, yeah, the other thing I'll say, uh, since we're prognosticating a little bit, uh, for all of the whatever you call yourself, right? For all the creators out there, the people who make media uh, independently and put it out on the internet, we're, we've got more obstacles coming. In the next 12 months, we're going to have to be very uh, fluid uh, with our production going forward. Because, again, just like what's going to happen on all the social media platforms uh, with the ratcheted up censorship, same thing is going to happen in other corners of the Internet. And it's all going to be directed by these quote unquote thinking machines and uh, we're going to have to be on our toes to stay ahead of them. So if you haven't already started preparing yourself for that in 2024, now would probably be a good time to start strategizing and figuring out uh, how you are going to outsmart these machines. Wow. I want to give a big shout out to the channel Hooplaha on BitChute. Nice. We're uploading the last several peasants podcasts on the bit shoot. Sweet. That I did not. That's how you so, do it. Wow. I got fans that are doing the, the, the yeoman's work for me there. Hi, Yona. We found the channel. Now let's see if I can't find. Oh, well, if it's on. Oh, we had to go to bit shoot. Yeah. We that would have been, been, that would have been my second choice. Like I figure if, it's, it, if you're going to find it anywhere, not that you would necessarily find it on BitChute, but it would be there. I'm confident that it would be there. We just probably wouldn't find it. And it's not there. Oh. So I made a music video for it. I had the song itself on Bandcamp, but uh, we'll just go on to the... Uh, Palestine Requiem here as we round the first hour of the broadcast here uh, yeah. as kind of a Requiem song for the uh, ever increasing pile of uh, human bodies so many that they, they're losing count I just ha haven't caught up yet because it's hard to go out and count bodies when the bombs keep well, yeah, um, when they don't stop dropping the bombs and in the rumble link uh I've got the lyrics actually typed out. Uh, I wonder. I wonder how much like uh, uh, forensic work they have to do to identify some of the remains, right? Oof! Like, are they are they even bothering to do that, or are they just like picking up bits and pieces and like tossing them in burn pits, just saying fuck it? Oh, it, it's worse than that. Ryan Christiano, Last American Vagabond get into the facts of uh, how Palestinian remains are being returned, missing whole organs stitched back up that they've been harvesting. Oh, well, that's there. nice. Yeah, at least uh, they're stitching them back up, you know. Uh, but in, the, in anyway, Tijuana, they don't do that. This track is called Phosphorus Eyes. Shout out to Dead Fella for remixing it. Um, and the funny thing is, we were going to put it on the Capitalistocracy album. 
Right. And at the last minute, because we ended up putting capitalist autocracy out at the end of July, uh, and that's when the singles started hitting media monarchy, much thanks to James Evan Pilato and so many other DJs for the, all the love and support and playing the tracks off that um, and continuing to do so. But we ended up um, not putting Phosphorus Eyes on that album because at the time, to speak critically of Israel was such a third rail and so much of American support was pro-Israel at the time that it just seemed like a total kiss of death to put it on the debut album. Um, and then October and then November and now we're in December 2023. Public opinion has changed quite a bit. Um, I would say. So, uh, uh, or, yeah, I, and so well, now I, maybe they just weren't able to spin it in the right direction. I'm, I'm I don't know if it changed enough to so actually, much. I think I might actually upload this song and go through the route note and license it and put it up on iTunes and Spotify and all that stuff. Um, so uh, let me know in the chats what you guys think of this um, controversial song. It, it's like peeing on a like it's it is like peeing on an electrified third rail. Right Zionists carried out strikes on the Gaza Strip on Friday. After Open the prison Just keep your eyes 
Wow. Heavy material. Yeah. Yeah, and that's not just the explosives. And uh, it's interesting. It's even heavier once Deadfellow gets his hands on it. That's incredible, man. He took that song and made it even spookier. Yeah. Uh, But that's all those pads and stuff that he's got. And so... He just sent me this new track, six minutes and twenty three seconds, the interstate with UAD plug in. Hmm. Which I think have I played Interstate live for you? I think. I think so. I played that song live before on Yeah. There. I think it was a few weeks back. Maybe uh, here or maybe Town Hall. I can't remember. Everything bleeds together anymore. Hmm. Yeah, that see, Interstate is his Angkor Wat song. And so these two, it's like four or five songs are all just kind of blending together, um, which I, I've been looking at the whole thing coming together as like a kind of like a symphonic suite or something. The next album is, is going to be more of a symphonic treatment of like uh, where there's a, the same way orchestral suites are musically arranged and put Hmm. together with different movements where there may be a an adagio and then an allegro and an intermezzo and explore different melodies and harmonies and rhythms tempos and all that good stuff um stylistically uh because i mean that's when i first got into music composition back at the uh, saint minor seminary with those benedictine monks or at Labora, um, singing the Gregorian chant, playing the organ in the uh, monastery chapel there. That was fun. Oh, I Uh, bet. (laughs) Which it was when I was playing organ for the monks. Um, So, uh, you know, it would be accurate to say that at one time, the Yona was the monk's penis. Um, (laughs) Because not much pussy at a monastery. Correct. Well, there's Other supposed to be zero. Yeah. Other than none, there's no pussy at the monastery. Well, um, but nuns yeah, do yeah, frequent yeah. the place because yeah. there's a convent just down the hill. It turns out, uh, the sisters of Ein Sedel. Um <laughs> But uh, you know that that actually was the whole inspiration for the. Grand Theft World song there, the re-energized. You know, uh, let's see here. 85? I think it is. 85? Uh, I'm t- that's the uh, voice uh, on the uh, Yamaha Steinberg here. Uh, let me see here. Hmm. Are you are you playing? Yeah, that was just me playing live. I don't know if you can pick if the mic. No, nah, we didn't it. get any of that. Uh, I wonder. Listen, this microphone though. So if I swivel it around like that. See if you hear it now. I heard that. That was muted. Okay. Yeah, that was muted as well. Like I say, it seems to pick up the lower registers okay, but once you start going higher, it just, like, doesn't... It's like, nah. That's weird. I've got the sensitivity on the mic all the way up. Well, but that's the thing. If if the mic was built 
to pick up the human voice, which it probably was, uh, it's it's only going to have so much range built into it. Yeah. Because there's only so much variation in the human voice. It's it's rare, you know, for you to have like uh, human voice hitting 12 kilohertz, 14 kilohertz. Well, you know, it's usually wild. like two and below. Dead fella explained that to me. Actually, he sent me screenshots of his software and explained to me how he got my vocals on that song um, re-energized to get up and blend in with everything and all the music behind it. And he showed me where he was able to basically like take the mids out of the music track yeah. and then triple my mids to fill in that gap and then it all oh, wow. blended together to where and then the vocals and everything isn't the same thing and he Dude. brought more of the mids out and then did the stuff with putting it in, in the uh spooky pads and the ethereal yeah. i mean it, everything we touch is just fucking it's just taking off and every i i just can't it's so exciting every time we work together because he just keeps doing new stuff um same thing with uh Kingsley, you know, there, there's three different songs I started on that I've sent to him and also sent uh, two songs to uh, Recycle Bin Laden. <laughs> and uh, I got to get a song out to Phytophiliac, too. So that's what I love about our community, all this different collaborations going on. And, and I got another one I'm working on with B1. And nice. Constant, constant. There's just so many irons in the fire everywhere. Um, I just, just got to be careful what I, I remix, you know, yeah. I, I remixing the wrong things and I keep opening more gates to hell. I got I got to watch that. <laughs> I just like the fact that there's so much cross pollination, you know, between all the different media producers, right? Yeah. Like, especially in the, I don't know. The only thing that I can think to call it is like the greater Grand Theft World community, right? Mm -hmm. Like Corbett. Uh, Whitney, T. Lav, uh, James Evan Pilato, obviously. I think it turns out this uh, forensic history party is a big old tent, Drizzle. Yeah, big old tent. Well, and, and that's, AJ that's really and too, Jimmy is... Dore are spitting in each other's mouth, talking it up with Carol Quigley tonight. You know, they're welcome to the tent yeah. too. You know, I, maybe, I mean, maybe just stay over by yeah. the door. We need bouncers. You know, that's why we have lanyards. You know, there's. You want in different rooms. You got. Uh, we have room for voices, but we ha we have no room for egos. Like if you have an ego, you might as well not even approach the table, because that's yeah. not what we're here for. Yeah, I mean, if you want to be a con with your ego, I I could really give a fig to sit in Spinoza, buddy. I mean, I, go Foucault yourself in an abstract sort. Of well, I think some of these people start with like the right intention. And again, this could be me just, you know, telling myself a, a piece of fiction so that I don't have to look at difficult questions. Right. But I think a lot of these people, and again, I don't know uh, for sure one way or the other about a lot of people, but being a student of human nature for almost five decades, uh, you, you can, pretty much like tell a lot by what people say, how they say it, incorporate their body language, uh, break down their syntax, you know, all that, all the, all the different little metrics, you can kind of put it all together into a nice little package. You can start to figure people out after a while. It's not too hard, man. I but tell I you, think, nothing hits, nothing at all hits like the, uh, malapropisms when you yeah. use the long words in the totally wrong context and even right. better, when you try to spice up your language with some of those Frenchy words and phrases and totally fucking say I'm wrong. You just, you start talking out your ass about something, you know, absolutely nothing about you. You expose yourself immediately. But I think that some of these people that started with good intentions, let the attention go to their head and began to feel that they were more important 
than the information that they were presenting. And I think that the uh, complete opposite of that circumstance is what permeates the greater Grand Theft World community. These are not people who are in it because they want to become famous and they want everyone to love them and they want everyone to retweet their tweets and fucking whatever, right? Like, these people that, don't have attention-seeking complexes. That's one of the few songs that I decided that it had to be robot AI sounding voice to narrate the lyrics, even though I wrote all the lyrics for the song. Um, and I actually recorded a vocal track, but again, after going through the whole song and, uh, you know, playing the different parts on the keyboard, <laughs> it had to be AI because of the story that the song tells and talking about the song clout shout um you know i'm so fucking popular everybody loves me and now all the content that you create is just more about narcissism and self-adulation and brand building and you know constant name dropping and you know it's just um it's insufferable to me you know and that's you know, whereas when it comes to the Grand Theft World community, it, it's, I guess, under the larger truth tent or truther tent, if such a thing exists. Uh, I mean, it's hilarious to me that truth or truther is a pejorative term. <laughs> but here, here we are, folks. Um, and, and I feel like our corner of the universe is with all of the footnotes and citations and it's we're the quiet corner of the library where all the super geeks and nerds hang out. Um, yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. That. That's a good analogy. Yeah. I didn't, I don't want anyone's feelings to get hurt and think that they were being left out, you know, like our friends over there on AM wake up or wheezy over at the, what is truth podcast. Or the fabulous union of the unknowns. That's right. Um, it's just that there are so many different people that I could mention that are a part of this network. It would take a long freaking time. And the network grows every I'll put single it this day. way. It's to incredible. describe to describe the universe now cohabitating under the Grand Theft World tent. It's like trying to count the number of gas pumps at a Bucky's gas station off of Interstate 10 Katy Freeway there in Harris County, Texas. Shout out to the Petro Metro Houston, um, where literally you're just going to want to pay at the pump. I mean, it could be a 10 minute walk to the middle of the Bucky's. Because yeah, for those that are wow. on for the for the Texas uninitiated, Bucky. That's a big truck stop. Bucky's is a marmot like creature that is the mascot for the Bucky's gas station. Hey, Buckaroos. And at this, uh, at most of the Bucky's, you'll see, I don't know, 40, 50, 60 gas pumps. Hmm. I mean, how often can you walk 15 minutes from your car at the gas pump? to the actual gas, you know, to the cashier inside the store and say, yeah, I need to put, um, I'm just putting it in. On the one all the way so, at the end. And uh, I think I'm on, I think it's like, I guess number two. Pump 50 car, a <laughs> uh, pump 54, where are you? I'm on pump 54. Let me just put in $50. I only need half a tank. <laughs> Inflation's awesome. Yeah. So um, Joe Biden's America, man. Hey, I did that. I did that. That's right. <laughs> Remember when people were putting those on the gas pumps everywhere? I, I did that. I thought they were still putting them on the gas pumps everywhere. Yeah. Well, they, they keep scraping them off here. Yeah. Uh, and then they just put more new ones on. You know where you should uh, start putting them is in the grocery store. 
Like wherever, oh my wherever, God. yeah, wherever they they have like uh, somewhere where you could fit one of those stickers, like a little placard or something, just right on there. Like like that uh, sticker move that Kroger uh, played that uh, Last American Vagabond showed last night, where this lady bought her organic Gala Fuji apples from Kroger in the green organic bag and everything, and there was this round green decal on the back. That said, organic apples, and right. when she pulled it off underneath. It said, "These uh, apples have been covered in the new smart coating." And so Ryan goes into all of the yummy nano delicious nuggets that are in this new um, smart coating. Um, that help preserve the apples and distribute. Anyways, right. I, you know, I, I don't right. want to get so, ahead of So both. that's how they're going to get those of us who still know how to cook and prepare our own food. That's right. So, awesome. you know, that's when fucking the witch fantastic. gives you that apple to eat, Snow White, don't eat that fucking apple. It's got the fucking smart wrapping on it. Yeah. And, you know. It's got the Dr. Bill juice. I mean, you can, oh, you can have the Dr. Bill juice if you want. Just understand that uh, it does come with contractual obligations. Bad, bad stuff. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, I never did use the R downloader thing to download the 15 hour long rumble feed that Courtney Turner put up of this year's Cause Fest in Nashville where I played live. I meant to clip out my live performances where I was playing on stage live. Um, but I'm going to get the probably the last musical submission for tonight. And to me, the single largest story of the year. Um, and it's an ongoing story that just gets worse by the day. Uh, and I'm referring to uh, Norfolk Southern Railroad. Lahaina, uh, Gaza. Uh, um, Norfolk Southern. Yeah. And it was Norfolk Southern, East Palace. Yeah, the uh, one that they don't want you to remember. Well, one of the ones that they don't want you to remember. Inarguably, the single largest release of dioxin. Intentional release. Earth. Intentional Ever. release. <laughs> it's staggering. It's really staggering. And that was back in February of this year. Yeah, it was the first means... week of February, wasn't it? Yes. It was uh, right after uh, the Chinese spy balloon bullshit. I made this song. I'm just trying to figure out how many weeks that would be. Damn, how many songs do I have on here? Quite a few. And we keep going back. You have quite a few. That's the correct Price answer. Life worthless money. That, that's good. Scoring close. along at home. Oh baby. Oh baby. Uh, there it is. Norfolk Southern Blues Thoroughbred Dave. Yep, David Thoroughbred. I remember that. Uh, because the mascot of Norfolk Southern is the black thoroughbred named David. That that's worth that's the name. Um. Uh, is it really named David? Yes, Thoroughbred David. So here is the link for Norfolk Southern Blues. Blam up. Featuring nonstop footage that I took of the disaster when I made that video and the song February. Twentieth, I think it's when I uploaded it. Should have the upload date, I would think. Was that it? I know we did the the river report in February, and that is uh, that is on the channel, one of the channels, somewhere. It's on a few of the Um, channels. I made the song, and then I did the river report, literally all within a day or two of each other. I know it's on the YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, there continues to be 
derailment after derailment. Um, we're averaging over seven derailments a day. Most of them are minor, but some of them are major. I did go over a recent CSX derailment near Livingston, Kentucky, that was another chemical spill and chemical fire. But I think that one wasn't as much dioxin, just um, vinyl chlorides um, pouring into the uh, Rock Castle River watershed, which is a uh, tributary to the Cumberland River. So, uh, oh, well, Nashville drinking water hmm. would have some of that yummy CSX vinyl chlorides. Not to be confused with delicious. Nashville and Memphis and uh, yeah, yeah, on on down. Keep on going. Not it doesn't compare to delicious Norfolk Southern dioxin. Hmm. <laughs> oh shit! Terrible. You did send me the link, didn't you? Uh, Sorry, I'm on. I'm a little bit distracted. Oh, you're fine. That, there is the link to the original studio recording. I could actually send the link to the live performance and then give you the uh, timestamp to cue it to. Oh, good Lord. No, I'm not even going to try and get that complicated with it. That. That's that's kind of tricky to do because it's a 15 hour long video. Correct, and it's rumble, and it's rumble. Yeah. So, um, so we'll 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 go with the pre recorded. That'll work because we got it right here. Yeah. Here we go. To grow stronger, America depends on its bounty both natural and man-made. Finding new ways to get these goods to market more efficiently and reliably is the noble pursuit of Norfolk Southern, the thoroughbred of transportation. I hear the train coming. It's coming around the bend, Johnny Cash. Exactly. 
Look at those flames, Drizzle. Ooh. But it's a controlled bird. Totally controlled. Oh, yeah. Completely controlled. I made this song and video to be a time capsule. They, they memory hold it from the beginning and they're memory holding it now. Oh, yeah. Dude, they made it go away. Nobody cares anymore. It's no problem if you have questions for my line. The water's fine. Just ask Governor DeWine. EPA will be here anytime. David Thoroughbred of transportation Got me singing Norfolk Southern Blue Big balls of flame. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire, Jerry Lewis. Wow. Oof. Well, guess who's awake? Uh-oh. Yeah. Ball space taking over. <laughs> she's, been, she's been subdued today. Not by anything I did to her. But uh, she had a rough morning, so she has not had her usual level of energy during the day. Oh, my God. I did find my Neun and Neunzig Luftballoon Kowloon oh Balloon Pop remix, which I do remember you playing that before. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, yeah, probably in January. Sure did um, that was way back. Oh, you are correct, sir. That was eleven months ago. That's how we began the year. Um, and uh, I I just dropped the link to that there. Um, God, that makes the perfect book end. To the musical selections. Yeah. We started with the Chinese Communist Party <laughs> Ness, or we'll abbreviate with CCP Ness. Right. Um, and we can finish with some Chinese balloon popping. Because damn the Chinese weather balloons. Um, and again, just look at the thumbnail, folks. It's what we're looking forward Hold to. Hold on. Glorious Supreme Sniffer in Chief. Ah, oh, all right. What's going on? You know, oh, cats may stinks. be pets. Uh, cats are pets here in America. But I think in China, they're still considered a, a valuable source of protein. Um, well, yeah. Uh, most everything is a source of protein in China. Uh do we really want to do two songs back to back, or we want to hold no, this no, till the no, end? No, 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 that that that's the bookend. Okay, that, that gotcha. That's the right. uh, you know the the first song. I'm saying that that's the bookend. There, there no, we, we might no. we might squeeze no. something else in because we started early. It's only ten forty five. Yeah, well, we've been uh, going almost two hours already. We're at an hour and forty minutes. Oh, so we're 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 gonna cut at eleven o'clock then? No. We can go longer. I'm just saying we're already at an hour and 40 minutes. So like the clock 
clock doesn't really matter. What matters is the recording clock. Let's see here. Because, you know, it's been one of those weeks where there hasn't been a whole lot uh, in terms of media offerings. So, you know, we can go over. Here, we can br- bust the format. The, That's fine. Here is the companion song, because there were two songs that I wrote back to back. And then when I made the Stop. music videos, I made the music videos back to back. And so immediately after making the music video to Norfolk Southern Blues, a.k.a. Thoroughbred David, I made the music for Priceless Life, Worthless Money, because there was a, a, on my local CBS affiliate in Huntington, WCHS, they covered a story about a lady whose two dogs and a litter of puppies and cat were all dead when the family woke up and the kids were all heartbroken. Because they were outside or? Yeah, they'd gone to, I mean, I, I don't know, they'd gone to the pet door, but. Um, uh, oh, so wow. then when I, then when I looked up on it, you know, I found out about uh, the local affiliate stations in the Pittsburgh market, which, you know, East Palestine's a, basically a suburb of, Pittsburgh, right? Beaver County, Pennsylvania. Shout out Richard Grove, um, and uh, they were uh, interviewing people around there. And like one of the ladies had lost all of her chickens. Another lady had lost all her rabbits. The livestock die off stuff as a direct result of this so-called controlled burn and toxic right. cloud that ended up floating all the way to, I want to say Montreal, Canada. Shit all over the Adirondacks, me. and I mean, because you know they they plotted out a map of this toxic plume that floated around. Because um, East Palestine, technically in Ohio in Columbiana County, but the t- the train derailment happened on the Norfolk Southern Main Line, uh, the Cleveland Pittsburgh Main Line, literally not even half of a mile from the state line crossing of the Pennsylvania Ohio state line because the tracks run due east west and the state line runs due north south so literally half of this disaster is in Pennsylvania mm-hmm. um, and so this other song uh, Priceless Life Worthless Money you don't have to play the whole song really I mean you can if you want but it's mainly for the uh, the video at the beginning but the entire video features all of the dead wildlife as a result, oh, wow. as an immediate result of the Norfolk Southern spill. And there's been oh, continuous yeah, there's that plume. knockoff effects of the uh, toxicity uh, and its effect on wildlife. Um, turns out it's also having an effect on the human population. Um, and that'll be a third song that I have yet produced because even with turbo cancers it's taken a while for people to just start dropping left and right Um, but wait for it it's coming um it's terrible it's really terrible nothing to make light of but uh this track is actually one of the tracks on our debut album capitalistocracy referring to red fella which is dead fella and B1 and Dr. Dennis and and friends. Um, And this song is the only song on that entire album where I'm just playing acoustic piano and singing. There's no electronic or nothing, which is, I mean, one thing I really love about that album that 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 Phil and I did so far, and it, it, he keeps commenting about it back that he's never done such an eclectic album with so many different musical styles and going in so many different directions. And <laughs> this one, I think, will always be just a stripped down acoustic piano song because it it's speaking to 
such pain. I mean, I literally wrote this song about the fact that we've got cancer centers at every hospital. Mm. Every town has cancer, you know, mammogram screenings for all the women and everything up and down the Ohio Valley. And so this song is really a requiem for just the continuing body count of just countless tens of thousands of people dying premature deaths every year from the poisoning of the Ohio Valley, which was originally the first wild west of the American nation. And it all belonged to Virginia. We, we've gone over that before. Virginia is mother to seven states. But anyway, this is priceless life, worthless money. No amount of money can buy away the cancer. Palestine, roughly three miles from ground zero and just up the hill from Leslie Run Creek. There were several dead fish floating at multiple locations along Leslie Run. So I walked up to the cage and this this is what I found. Amanda Brashears was going to feed her five hens and rooster this morning when she discovered them all lifeless, practically in the same position with no signs of a predator entering their enclosure. I'm... Stop it whenever you want. Anybody want some fish sticks? We got some Kanye West fans out there. Ruling criminals beyond reprimand. The castles yet stand on the land. Got that stereo effect there for you, Drizzle. Our time's kind of doer the nothing. Yeah. Trust the night to break a line. Such priceless life and endless love. Priceless life. Yeah, yeah you, you, you can throw it back now. We yeah. caught it by the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect cut. Perfect oh. cut. Throw that fish back to the water. Ooh. E- no. Don't eat that fish, folks. Not even with tartar sauce. Not not good. You'll wake up to what I Don't woke eat. up to this morning. Ugh, it's just not. No. Mm-mm. I don't recommend it at all. Ugh. Um. <laughs> so, I guess... Let's see if I can... Maybe the oldest video I have on here, and I'll queue it up for later... We already have one for later. Right. <laughs> I'm talking about Kanye West. This was oh, my no. uh, segue into Kanye because oh, uh, all right. they just can't stop talking about Kanye West because Kanye West was talking again himself. Yeah. Um, and talking you again, know what? again. Did did you see his apology? Yeah. Fuck was that? What the hell kind of PR bullshit was that? What was that? Kanye said he was never going to apologize. He had no reason to apologize. 
What was that? Was that Ooh. Harley Pasternak came up to him and was like, "Yo, uh, it's zombie time if you don't uh, put out this press release." Yeah, that's his name, Pasternak. Yeah. That's the guy. That's the guy. Well, I mean, is that what happened? Because I read the yeah. thing. I read the whole mm-hmm. thing that he put out on social media. Ye May did not culpa. say that. I can tell you. Ye did yeah. not say that. He didn't write that. Even even that. if he's no. using no. his corporate America voice, Ye did not say that. That was written by somebody else and put out under his name. That's it. Well, um, hmm, I would say, yeah, we, we, we could talk about Kanye, total distraction. We could yeah. talk about total Biden pooping on himself, got a lot of views, total distraction. We could talk about again. Michael Bagnerick and, and the Constitution being shredded. Yeah, well, you know, again... Listen to the lyrics of the recent song, Re-Energize. I say in the song, we actualize more than strategize, Hmm. right? We don't proselytize nor villainize. And so I'm just going through, I'm, I'm talking about the other tense, you see, because, because, you know, you know, that that's the grip they play. That's the grip they have. And we don't proselytize or villainize. We don't just sit around and strategize. We're making shit happen. Hmm. We're getting shit done. That's what autonomy is all about. Not waiting for the government to do it for you. Doing it for your fucking self. Yeah. There you go, man. Not waiting it, for it, somebody else to give you permission to do <laughs> the thing you want to do. Novel concept. Yeah. Novel. Um... I mean, there's there's really only one way to be free, as far as I see it, and that's yes, to, to stop asking the government for permission. Yeah. Govern yourself. Do like the government does. Just do what you're going to do and ask for forgiveness. Like, who cares? I guess I don't know. Half the time, I don't even ask for forgiveness. I'm just like, oh well. Yeah. Guess you should well, have I mean, been watching. I guess if you have bucks to give, you could give, but yeah. No, no, all out. I ran all out of out fucks, fucks in, in uh, 2021. It was uh, sometime in February. February 15th, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. That's when I ran out of fucks. So, now that we've got all the distractions out of the way, mm-hmm. that we're on the home stretch here, I think this year gave us a taste of where 2024 is going. Good, at least she's <laughs> And that is it's not only about recreational marijuana. Recreational mushrooms has jumped on the bandwagon. That's right. Mm. Shrooms. Yeah. has been oh, invited that's a to whole the party. Play, man. That's a play that's coming. That's right. Yeah. And the normalization of San Pedro cactus, shout out Tony Myers. Um, and ayahuasca parties and DMT and, you know, as, uh, Steph Zambrano, uh, Steph Zambrano, uh, over there at Jimmy Dore show said, um, just wear a diaper when, when you, um, DMT anyway. So hashtag wear a diaper. Um, uh, yeah. So yeah, there's no need to cover the Biden stuff again, but the, psychedelics and the spiritual visions and trips and everything that's what alex jones and jimmy Dore were talking about tonight it's it's being put out there everywhere and so for the last regular musical selection of the night <laughs> let me get the link over here to the drizzle we're going to take you back to a simpler time when your oh, all right, neural now I understand how the year in review is working. All right. The neural programming was a little bit more subtle and it was dressed in tie dye. 
Wait a minute. Oh, oh, wait. You just sent I, me the same one. I just sent the same link because it didn't copy the new link like I wanted to. Come on, man. Let's try again. Copy. Did you already? You, you already broke into that new bag, didn't you? Of course you did. No, not yet. But oh. it smells awful good. But I, I'm, I'm about to. Surely. To... See, I would have blamed it on the weeds, man? but you know. Okay. It's showing it up there too, man. Okay, what? let's go to here to share. Magic oats. Does it hmm. maybe a fourth time is the charm? Oh, you know what? Um, Magic Oats and Cherry Garcia, Cherry Garcia? remix. Yeah, there the we go. Okay, yeah. okay, all right. Sometimes That's the next song. Sometimes Discord does that, and it for whatever reason it just doesn't overwrite the last link on the clipboard. Yeah, and it, it just, just keeps giving you the same the one. Yeah. So I changed the clipboard, but anyways, Jerry Garcia. And the Grateful Dead, Fish, with a PH, yeah. um, Ops, all of Pink them. Pink Floyd with David Gilmore. <laughs> yeah, boy, probably him even and Roger Waters. Boy, they just don't see eye to eye anymore. That's so sad. Um, you know, uh, Zach De La Rocha, Tom Morello with uh, Rage with the Machine. Um. It used to be Rage Against the Machine, but then COVID happened. So, you know, the, the point being, what seemed like really quirky, cool, psychedelic music, as you kind of dig into it, you start getting into all this MK Ultra stuff and, and finding out that the NSA and the CIA worked with psychedelics and now we're seeing all this pushed out there and the alien story pushed out and I'm seeing all of this coalesce in 2024, the year of the Chinese mushroom. And so with that, uh, I believe I sent you over the uh, dancing bear footage. Yeah, I, I got it right here. <laughs> I'm just trying to herd you and this cat at the same time. <laughs> Oh, and it's quiet at the beginning. Yeah, you have to focus on the bear's dribble. That's right, folks. The Miami Vice Crockett and Tubbs of 1980s rock and roll playing in the background. The one and only Daryl Hall and John Oates. Yeah, they're not they're not doing so hot anymore. Bro, they've been playing County Fair. No, you know you got to run when you're up. touring with Carney. They're split up, man. They, yeah, they're having a fight. They're having a lover's day. Yeah, control. it's worse than Simon and Garfunkel now. <laughs> wow, that's some fire. Big shout out to the Symphonic Orchestra of Istanbul, Turkey for the uh, double reeded instruments on this remix here with the oboe and the synth. Good look there, uh, Istanbul.
Now, of course, if you're on mushrooms, you can put this on half speed. But if they're good mushrooms, you don't have to. It's already on half speed. And that would be a uh, hashtag Shelly. Shout out to Shelly. LB says, I'm Faith. <laughs> well, this is it was really fun. Harder after us. So. Really fun doing the video editing with these bears. Because they kept fucking with the speed of the bears. They're trying to make them walk backwards and then forwards again. Hey, I've actually never watched this video on mushrooms yet, but I'm planning to on New Year's Eve. Can't wait. Nice. Actually, I've done the psychedelic songs. I need to just make a psychedelic mixtape. Just call it mushroom trip. Mushroom round trip. There you go. I want everybody to come back before they I'm not trying to leave anybody stuck on an endless layover. Shout out Ed Snow. My God, Ed Snow's layover was so long in Russia that he finally gave him citizenship. He's got a Russian passport now. He didn't leave the country. Yeah, I mean, they, they revoked his uh, passport when he was trying to change planes at Sarah Mexico Airport. Shout out to our friend uh, Fiorella Isabel over there in Moscow working at the Russia Today studio. There used to be an RT America channel, but uh, that got heated. Because, you know, we got a free press here. Feels like Saturday night. That is, that is a very bolted type video. It's very, it's, it's the dancing bears. It's the dancing bears. Wow, this is a long one. That's what she said. I think it's at the end now, though. Yeah, yeah. it's wrapping up. Landing gear are out. Landing gear is out. Seatbelt sign is on. Plane's about to touch ground. Yep, there it is. Wait, and is that this... is that blotter acid? Yes. Huh. Window pane. Window pane. Blotter acid. Wow. Interesting. No, no, not up next. What the hell are you doing? The 90. Whoa, whoa now. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, now. No, 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 no. I don't know what's Sorry, going on. Sorry, Siraj and Mujahid. Huh. Yeah, anyway. Not a big what? deal. But uh, it's not supposed to do that, is the thing. Because I set it to not do that. But it so, did it anyway. Something got it's fucked rumble. up with Rumble today, y'all. I don't know what it was. But... They were down earlier, in case you didn't know that. Yep. Yet again. Yep. Not Yet again. first time. Yet again. I blame Not Steven Crowder. First time. I do. Terrible. Well, we've had breakdowns in supply chain, constant freeway bridge collapses, freeway interstate closures, interstate rail line, main line closures. Environmental disasters. We went over the uh, war uh, massacres in Gaza ongoing, and was going to go over the stuff in the Ukraine because that was actually earlier this year when the. Um, you mean the failed <laughs> counteroffensive? Yeah, I'm talking about when the uh, when they attacked the. The Krimsky Most, uh, 
Krimsky most, uh, Crimean Bridge, uh, which uh, spans the Kursk time? Strait. Uh, and it caught the train on fire, and they actually dropped half of the four-lane bridge into the water hmm. and completely stopped traffic on the only road and rail link to the rest of the Russian Republic from the Crimean Peninsula, which is, you know, some fair pole and fast pole and everything. Um, and yeah, I was going to share. The, oh, that's right. I, now I remembered it. God, I'm so fucking high. I was looking for that song and it wasn't on Rumble. Where was it? And it wasn't on Odyssey. And it also was not on BitChute. It was nowhere still. Nowhere? So, I guess the question now is, do I even have it? Hmm. Let's see here. I listened to Voodoo Child this morning by Jimi Hendrix, nonetheless. Great song. Chop the mountain down with the edge of my hand. Yeah. Hold on. This one is being difficult. We're going into the vault, going into the Yona vault to see do I got the original music video. Let's see, free agent drive, F drive. And Briar Rose has been evicted. Briar Rose never saw a chord that couldn't be attached and pounced upon. Hopefully that's not the uh, cord that, that. Hopefully that's not the microphone cord. No, that. she's going after the internet cable. Oh, you'll need that. You'll need that. Let's see. Is it called Sevastopol? And she just got her butt smacked for not listening, it's which probably means Sevastopol. she'll just go and do it again. Because that's okay. her uh, disposition. I found it. The song is four minutes and 20 seconds long. And it's a requiem for all the dead people in South Ukraine that have been getting shelled and killed since 2014. So it's been almost 10 solid years yeah. of being bombed and shelled by... Um, the cutest, most adorable, huggable um, Azov Nazis you could ever want to um, cuddle with over a utility pole and a couple of boxes of saran wrap, you know. Shouldn't have dodged the draft, buddy. So this is uh, anyway, another bummer of a video? Um, well, that's the thing about it. I've just found it in the only place it exists now, on my hard drive. Oh, wow. And it's an MP4 video. So what is the best way to send the MP4 video to you to play if you want to play it? Because I don't know. There, there oh, is oh, no, the, the no video way to is, do it PG. immediately. You'd have to publish it somewhere. Yeah. Because I'm not set up to do that. Hmm. Well, I would say Odyssey, but Odyssey is the slowest. Mm -hmm. That is I correct. I would say BitChute, but actually, BitChute is, bit is, is the slowest. slowest. No, BitChute is the slowest. Usually Always has even been slower. Yeah, yeah. Rumble. Rumble's not much better. <laughs> is a little bit faster. YouTube is the fastest. Right. But it's probably going to get yanked off YouTube again. Um. Wonder. Actually, I never got a strike for this song. And I can upload it and we can play it and then I can just delete it again. If you want. People do that with YouTube all the time. Nanny nanny boo boo. Ha ha ha. I deleted it before you could. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> I mean, that would be the quickest out of all of the options. Because the other ones are just too fucking slow. Like it, it would take and 
I don't know if it's a five minute video, it's probably going to take 20 minutes most everywhere, except probably YouTube. YouTube would probably get it done in like five minutes. All right. Well, let's see. I've got over to my channel. I haven't opened up Creator yet. It's 11 16 p.m. here. You got five minutes, YouTube. Otherwise, we're just going to yawn and say, eh, Ukraine. <laughs> so yesterday, uh, when's this China war getting started? Don't uh, we have more bombs no, to make? No, no, there's no China war. <laughs> what are you talking about, China war? There's no, not going to oh, be a China I, war. It's war with Iran. That's right. They don't want war that's with what, China. War with China means that we actually have to do something, and we can't that's just what keep AJ lobbing cruise saying. missiles at them. Yeah, Alex Jones is all about some Iran war. we got to take it to Iran. Fuck yeah, man. Was he saying that? Yeah. God. yeah. Fuck a it's, bunch of Iran, be, says Alex Jones. It's going to so, be quite I a mean, year, folks. Tea leaves are saying, well, I can read Farsi and it reads right to left. Tea leaves are written in Farsi, folks. That, that's the language of Persia. Um, yeah. Let's see. Aha. Well, I mean, if you believe people like General Wesley Clark, then Iran is the logical conclusion of the beginning stages of the project for a new American century. Right. right? Seven countries in seven years that right. we had to invade. Only it wasn't seven, only it wasn't seven countries in seven years because we never got to the seventh. Right. Because right. That, that got interrupted, allegedly. There we go. I found it. Upload video. And I clicked that, and now we wait. So I'm at 11.18. It took two minutes just to get there. Damn. Eh, that's all right. Uh, Should process pretty quick. Upload video. It's not like you're uploading a three-hour video or anything. And they've got but to I am comb uploading through it from every my, fucking uh, second to see if there's a copyright violation. I am uploading this using my 1998 compact Rosario, which has a three and a half inch floppy disk drive. In. That's what she said. And it's 2023. This computer is definitely over 25 years old now. So if it was a wow. licensed motor vehicle, I could actually get an antique license plate or classic motor plate. So you can, you can run, uh, like, modern software on yeah. that machine yeah i've got a partition where you know i can either run it in xp or i can run it in the more modern windows 7 wow but windows 7 is about as modern as i like to keep it you know what i'm saying um because you know every now and then i like to use Tasa and limewire to get some more music yeah you you didn't you didn't <laughs> dig windows 8 yona no, and then Windows 10. Oh, don't get started. There it is. Drag and drop video files to upload. Hmm. Blammo. And I don't need any of that. And I don't need playlist. No, it's not made for kids. Next. Add an end screen. Nope, not doing that. Check. Yeah, check all you want. Check me off while you're at it. Check me off slowly. Public said it's an instant premiere. All right. And it's already at 42% uploaded, man. Yeah. And we're at 1119. Well, YouTube knows Actually, you gotta you gotta get it out to the people quick. So you know, they get it out there quick. Well, they get it into their hands quick. And then they decide whether or not it can go out to the people. Yeah. All right. We're already over 55%. It yeah. Chug it through we'll 60%. Right. Look at it go with 30 seconds left. Upload complete. Yeah. The wow. affiliates are just going to have to figure out on their own that, you know, we're going over. They'll figure it out. It's all good. Wow. So I can send you this link, and then when you go to pull up the link, it may still be on the countdown. Countdown? Because this countdown? is going to be premiering. 
set as in, I'm setting this as an instant premiere. So when I give you the link, huh. you go to load it. It Good. may still be counting down like the last know. 30 seconds or something. We'll see. You know, um, it's going to be an adventure. Uh, upload complete now processing. Yeah. That should go quick. Like that should not be anything. Like it's basically like, is this a song that somebody's already made a claim on? Right. And the good thing is, this is all original piano, all original lyrics. Mm. Um, and I can't even find the Audacity file for it. It's just gone. Huh. One of those strange songs that just everything's gone to it. The only thing that survives is the music video. And so when I went to upload the song to Bandcamp, I just had to take an MP3 and make it from this MP4. This is all that survives of this song. It's <laughs> YouTube fucked my world up so bad, deleting three channels in a row. Um, thank God I have most of the hard copies. But I mean, you know, like, for example, there's I think three or four episodes of Peasants Podcast Lost Forever. You know, I, well, that, <clears throat> not lost forever. No, yeah. I would just need to go see my friends at Camp Williams in Bluffdale, Utah at the National Data Center. I know they have a copy. Hi guys. Yeah. Um, you know, I still haven't gotten a strike yet. Okay, let's go to checks. But it's probably because my channel's not big enough. Like they don't care. They're like, yeah, what a hundred and some followers. We don't fucking care about y'all. Well, I we would can't be able to do post any it. damage. I can't post it yet, Drizzle. They're still checking me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll take a minute. But we're already up to fifteen percent on checking me off. There you go. And checks complete. No issues found. Boom. Bam. Publish that shit. Done. Hit publish. See, I told you it'd go Bam. pretty quick. Bam. 11.22 and it's done. Bam. Oh, copy. What do you think Link. about that, ladies and gentlemen? And let's go over to this tab on the 25-year-old browser. And I'm For all of y'all that thought that making media <laughs> was a difficult thing, uh, we just proved that it's not. Uh, let's go to it doesn't even have to look good. It doesn't. All it has to do is reach somebody. That's literally it. Bang. And there's Magic Oats and Cherry Garcia remix with YouTube link. Bam, there it is. Wow. All right. Yeah. Sevastopol Black Sea remix. There it is. And this is the this is the last story that I had in 2023 and it's just shits see. and giggles from here. I think YouTube auto plays the way it's set up. Let's see. So let's try this. Oh yeah, you're right. We have yep. to sit through this now. Huh. Wow. Well, you called it, man. But I thought it would be at 30 seconds, not 66. Yeah, it was quicker on the draw than you were expecting. Yeah. I, I didn't think it would go in that quick, man. I, I've never really timed a YouTube upload. YouTube is the quickest. It's always the quickest. This is the first time I've ever uploaded a song to YouTube. Four fucking times. I mean, right. Don't worry, I'll delete it as soon as we play it. So they can't delete it a fourth time. I, I, I couldn't hear it. I'd rather kill it myself. <laughs> I feel and so well dressed the... for the occasion. You know? I did get a I did get a strike for it because it's not for copyright, but so that the song went against community standards. There's no profanity. There's no nudity. Uh, this, this, this is the most innocuous, harmless fucking song. But whatever. <laughs> Twenty twenty three, the year in review. Putin deeper, break that ass off. All right, I'm gonna go on.
This is the city of Sevastopol or Sebastopol itself, showing the Russian Navy shipyard. What is that thing in the water? Oh, that's their little shrine. That's the symbol of Sevastopol. The the bird, the eagle, because it's a symbol of An Tartars eagle? and Tartars and Tartaria. Goes great with fish sticks, Kanye. Huh. Tartars of the mountains. Feel the chill in the wind. Tartar on the mountains is actually a very crude reference to doing something man. else, but I'm not going to spell it out anymore. Harder sauce on the mountain. Air is cold, sees black Trains on fire, rings is falling down. Listen. Turns out it did not. Shout out WEF. Now you know why that song had to be deleted repeatedly. Clearly. Hmm. Again, I mean, uh, it, 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 you know, it triggered somebody. I was, obviously. I was happy that I got to leave the first comment and the first thumbs up on it. Like, that's, yeah. that's what I was, that's what I showed up for. Oh, which reminds me, now that it's played, let's go over here to. Good God, this is going to be a lot of notes. You know, I've only got one strike so far, and I've been told repeatedly on my fourth channel now that if I'll just simply go to copyright school, that that first strike will expire in 60 days. So <laughs> that, that that strike's never going to expire, because <laughs> go fuck yourself. You're right. not going to. 
not going to happen. So, do I just leave it on there and wait for the second strike? You can uh, mark it private, and that should uh, prevent any sort of strikeage, I believe. I believe. I'm not 100% certain on that. Well, I mean, if they eat this channel, how many has it built up to this time? Current subscribers, 31. Hmm. Active copyright strikes, one of three. Yeah, but that'll mm. drop off after, what is it, 90 days or something, 60 days? If you I don't do know copyright what it is, 30 school, days. it's telling me it'll you never drop do... that first strike. Oh, whatever. It's saying it never goes away until I do a copyright school. Otherwise, that first one sticks. Huh. I guess. I don't know. I See, the problem is I, I don't just know. really don't fucking care. Um, I don't know. All the stuff that I published on YouTube that uh, showed up as copywritten, uh, they were just like, well, uh, they don't they don't allow you to use it, or they allow you to use it, so it's fine, or they don't allow you to use it, so you can upload it again with that footage not in there, and we just like we just won't show it to people. Like I've seen all so of I've, that stuff, but I've never gotten a strike as a result I, of a copyright. I made my last video as made for kids. So clearly I'm just taunting, <laughs> taunting them. You're just trolling. That's what you're doing. <laughs> I mean, this is worse than Ryan Christian with this whole YouTube pirate fucking channels. Like right. you want to play whack-a-mole with me, you fuckers. Right. Oh, oh, that was, <laughs> that was the most brilliant idea. I know. Right. Oh, you took down that stream? That's all right. We already got another one ready. We're, we're keeping this show yeah. going on the yeah, air. We've, the only, we've only got like a, a couple thousand people that, that watch us on the regular that are willing to donate yeah. their YouTube channels and sacrifice them on our behalf. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep playing this fucking game. Wow, man. Ooh, I got an email this afternoon, this week on Grand Theft World. Hmm? Wow. I should really read my uh, upcoming events. Grand Theft World Town Hall, January the 2nd. Yep. Wow, man. Which I'm going to be late. So organized. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be late for that one, by the way, because uh, I'm actually going to be on uh, TNT Radio at, what would that be, the first hour uh, of uh, Hervoy Morch's show? On TNT Radio, so I'm gonna miss that first hour of. Uh, awesome. Now, doesn't Hall. he speak French, or is Does it he? Hungarian? Croat. Croat. Yeah, he's half Mexican, half Croat. That's right. Yeah, and apparently wow. he's a big guy like me. So, like, okay. we could we could go to a convention or whatever, uh, whatever those damn things are. And My, uh, stand next to each other and take a picture, and like you could put a ruler on our heads, and it would just be my level. dad's mom, my Nona, because I had two grandparents growing up, right? My mom spoke to granny and granddad, right? Um, <laughs> and you know, my, my Cherokee granny, uh, Aileen Probus, Aileen White Probus, and then on my dad's side, my Nona and Dita, my European family. And my dad's mom, my Nona, her uh, born name was Yulia Kalovich. And her parents were uh, Vikos Kalovich and Imaria Kropa. And they were from the Croatian Dalmatian island of Solta, right off the coast of Split. And Split is one of the biggest coastal cities of Croatia. So, technically, you know, the reason why I have all these black moles and spots everywhere is because I'm I'm actually part Dalmatian. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah. That well, it makes me wonder if I'm part Dalmatian then. That that explains the dots. Yeah. The spots everywhere. And and Dalmatia at one time was occupied by the Italians um, and added to Mussolini's Italy turns nice. out uh, but uh, i think nato got that all straight out because they'd kind of glommed together as yugoslavia but nato kind of 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they get they help went to in, get that the balkanization and train right out, out of yeah. the station. They sanded yeah. the rails and yeah, that was and, it was Gaza before Gaza was cool. When I say sanded the rails, I, of course I'm referring to the depleted uranium that they peppered all over um, Bosnia Herzegovina, Slovenia, Croatia, um, <laughs> Kosovo, Montenegro, Serbia. <laughs> what am I leaving? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yep, yep. It's really bad. It is really bad. It is really bad because Armenia and Azerbaijan are at each other's throats again. Uh India yeah, so India uh, and China are always like ready to pop off. India and Pakistan are always ready to pop off. And now uh you've got South America, countries in South America being like, uh, we want that land over there that's in that country. We're just going to go and take it. And the Brits are sending ships over like, uh-uh, uh-uh, motherfuckers. Oh, Don't oh touch we're jumping that. back into the Essequibo Valley again, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. The Essequibo the, referendum the, vote dude, from Venezuela. The HMS Trent, Her Majesty's ship, has parked itself off the coast of Guyana, basically saying, give me a fucking reason. Well, literally, the infamous Kool-Aid camp of the Jonestown in Guyana is in this area of disputed territory that has been jointly claimed by Guyana and Venezuela it's been an ongoing territorial dispute for over mm. 250 years. And so there's a lot of history in this area. And, and the reason why it's been a persistent territorial dispute is because literally nobody fucking lives there but bone in the noses. And I'm sure literally, Jim literally, just like he, what, put on a blindfold and was like, I'm going to throw a dart at the map and... Well, that's why he went into that area, because it was largely lawless. Hmm. Just talking about loincloth natives, literally loincloth natives living in grass thatched huts, eating fucking cassava root and tapioca. Hmm. (laughs) Um, I think, and yet you've got, I'm not sure. uh, You know, you've got the man eating spiders, languages, man eating snakes, man eating fish. Man eating cats, man eating dogs. I mean, like literally every man eating flowers. Literally everything in that fucking Essequibo jungle eats human. The the mosquitoes oh. that carry you away. Um, now, why haven't the parasites uh, figured out how to export that stuff to the rest of the world? That seems like something that would be right up their alley. Now, we kind of glossed over something. But I do want to circle back to it real quick there, Jen Saki, and that is yeah. um, Baku. I'm referring to the capital of the oil state, um, Azerbaijan, the Azeri kingdom, there on the Caspian Basin, uh, bordering uh, Iran and Armenia, and formerly... Uh, the Azerbaijan Soviet Socialist Republic, so formerly a satellite of the Soviet Union. And it was the Soviet Union that had drawn out these different exclaves and enclaves between the Azeris and the Armenians. Most notably uh, of focus right now is uh, the recent developments in the uh, Armenian exclave known as the uh, Nagorno-Karabakh, which is just west of the capital, Baku, on the Caspian shore line. And it's in the pathway of a major oil pipeline and proposed standard gauge railway to go straight across through there. They already have a standard gauge rail connection now through Iran to Azerbaijan by way of Armenia. Um, But, you know... There's been issues with getting the rail line into Georgia because of the whole ongoing conflicts with uh, NATO forces in Abkhazia and South Ossetia, 
fighting um, the uh, uh, oh, what are they called? The uh, Chechnyans there in mm-hmm. Grozny, led mm-hmm. by um, um, what's his name? Uh, Khadirov. Yeah, yeah, Khadirov, who's actually the uh, governor of uh, Chechnya there in Grozny, and and of course Khadirov is the infamous. Um, uh, everywhere, you know, super soldier, just gallivanting here, there, and everywhere. Uh, what's his name? Ram, Ramdan Kadirov, Ramzan Kadirov, Kadirov. One of the main. No clue. No clue. Which one of the main? Right now. Uh, Ramzan Kadirov, leader of the Chechnyan fighting forces, uh, based in Grozny, on the border with uh, Georgia near Tbilisi, um. And Ramzan Kadyrov is one of the guys who suggested that Russia should just nuke the Ukraine after the Ukraine had said they should nuke Russia. Hmm. Because you had the uh, head of the uh, Ukrainian Armed Forces, UAF, saying we should just nuke, we need a nuke so that we can nuke Russia. And then Ramzan Kadyrov said, fuck that, we'll just nuke uh, the Ukraine going back and forth with that lovely stuff. And, you know, Sean Penn went on TV at the time saying, you know, we got all these nuclear weapons. What's the point of having them if you're never going to use them? And great take there, Spicoli. Great take. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I mean, that's why he wins awards that he can then give to uh, tin pot dictators, you know. Fast times at Radioactive High. Um, yeah. and next time uh, Sean Penn wants to meet with you, El Chapo, don't. It's no, crap. I think Chapo's crap. smarter than that. Come on, Chapo's a businessman. Chapo knows how to make things happen. He's not going to be but, fucking around with. But like, now that Chapo's Sean in jail I, and shit, how's he supposed to run his operation from jail? Hello. That. What the hell do you think the prison system is? <laughs> <laughs> He's actually able to run it better from the inside than he is from it's the safer, outside. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know, we've literally covered just about all the stories from this year. Now we actually did it. Damn near under time too. Yeah. It's not even under midnight, time. and we left. <laughs> and we left time at the very end to pop the Chinese balloon, yeah. playing the um, snakeskin guitar. Yeah, I still got it queued up. That uh, Fujian province is so famous for. for um, and uh, tonight's challenge on this episode of Get Back Carter, I think we're up to hmm. 11. We're yes, on this is number 11. Time. This is yeah. number 11. Uh, this is the World Trade Center of Get Fact Harder, ladies and gentlemen. And for those scoring along at home, today's secret word is diarrhea. Well, not a joke. 911 and 911 being so close to our heart. And we've had LD in the, uh, Oh, no, I was just making the reference that the 11 is like the World Trade Center, like the two uh, obelisks, uh, Joachim and Boaz. Twin Towers. There's so many songs. Try saying obelisks when you're high or drunk. You'll sound like you're high or drunk. I will. You know, when we go to play the Chinese balloon popping, um, if you have a pair of chopsticks, you should try to use them to hit the joint, hold the joint, with the, <laughs> hit the joint from the chopstick. Uh, um, let's see here. I don't think that would work for me. I have very large fingers. The ladies appreciate knowing that. Oh, so, there it is. LD's trend remix. Me. Bearded Pilots. Now, that song is only three minutes long, so that's good. Short, sweet, to the point. The main thing is the thumbnail with the urban moving systems fans that show fucking airplanes hitting the towers. 
on the side of the fucking van, dude. There it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then, like, like literally, what was it? Within 48 hours of 911, the FBI picked up over 100 fucking Mossad agents in New York City and... Uh, you know, they they found they stopped another one of these urban moving vans on the GW at the fucking toll plaza, and it was full of fucking explosives that were going to blow up the George Washington Bridge <laughs> and drop I-95 into the Hudson River. Oh, wow. See, now that would have been something. Yeah. Like, even more. Because, you know, it was just... Uh, uh. And, I mean, apparently it wasn't even two planes that hit the towers you know according to eyewitnesses according to people who were actually there on the ground when it happened they're like i don't remember hearing no planes what plane yeah there was it's not like blew out where the glass they... on the lower floor yeah and the explosion came from the second lower level not from yeah. again the firefighter they all say the explosion came from below yeah not above and the first explosion is before any plane ever flies over right but at that <laughs> at that altitude there's no way that people on the ground would not have heard jet engines it's just not possible drizzle the wing tips just just follow the very tips of the wings as they remain attached to the airplane as the airplane goes all the way through the building with the fireball. I mean, it's it's, it's amazing like some Atari. the things that they can do with computer graphics these days, isn't it? I mean, you look at the the, the two thousand and one footage now, and it's like it's like some Atari type shit, man. It's like the original Mortal Kombat fucking resolution. You know, I mean, what is it like one forty four DPI? I mean, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, uh, I feel like 911 has now, the fact that 911 is an inside job, has kind of become an accepted fact. And yeah. I feel like this is the year that that Well, happened. no, we went from 911 is an inside job to 911 is a joke. Everywhere, yeah. all over the country. It's not just your yeah. town. That's right. Flavor play. Yeah. So uh, that's the last two selections of the night. And in between, we've got one last bit of s'mores to melt here in the studio. But uh, we got LD, that's uh, short for Lawrence Driggs, a uh, trimmed remix of Bearded Pilot starring everyone's favorite New York Jew, Larry Silverstein. Uh, oh, and and he, he is still bitterly complaining about the fact that he should have gotten even more money on the insurance. Spencer, I got a message on that uh, plane. It's, it's, a, it's a big truck with a mural painted of, a, of an airplane diving into New York City and exploding. Take the insurance policies that I own and collect. Instead of roughly six billion, we came out with four and a half billion. Take the insurance policies that I own and collect. And collect, collect. Yeah, we got receipt. These are the five dancing Israelis. I'm still mad. Larry fucking killed Take the insurance policies that I own and collect. 
just said it. Roughly <laughs> six billion, we came out with four and a half billion. Take the insurance policies that I own and collect collect. Them. Every time they ask Larry Silverstein about 911, he's still saying they fucked me out of a billion and a half dollars. Should have been six billion. Yeah, it's terrible all those people have died, but where's my money, bitch? WPC7, across the street. There's the map, there's the diagram. I had to look everywhere to find that diagram. Take insurance policies that I own and collect. Instead of roughly six billion, we came out with four and a half billion. Take insurance policies that I own and collect. Insurance policies that I own and collect. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I'm just looking at the sidebar here on Rumble, man. They hit you with uh, the quartering and Russell Brand in the in the watch next little oh. window. Yeah, yeah. They think you're subversive, Yona. They're trying to steer people back uh, into the uh, mainstream alternative. Oh man, that's what I'm going to start calling them. They're they're mainstream alternative media. They are mammies. Ooh, you you you're getting some of that drizzle and Yona content? You might need to yeah. get your mind right might with be, some uh, might, might with some get Hollywood you just a little too fact up, uh, you know. What's his name? Russell Perry, or no? He's he's single again, so it's Russell Brand again. I think right. he took her last name, um, because she's a firework. Um, well, I mean, she makes more then, money than him, so why not? And the quartering definitely, definitely will help you get back on that keto diet. More protein, less you know monosodium glutamate. Definitely, media wise speaking. Well, that leads us to. Really, the the only other story that we didn't touch on that was kind of a big deal this year, uh, and that would be um, InBev brand and uh, their subsidiary Anheuser Busch had mm-hmm. some uh, marketing issues this year after selecting um, um, part time woman, full time douche Dylan Mulvaney to be their new Bud Light. Spokes. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm told this was a big thing. story. And it led to the single largest destruction of a popular brand of any type of anything mm-hmm. I think we've ever seen. Uh to this day, uh there's still fallout from declining sales with Bud Light, even to the point that it affected sales of regular Budweiser. To the point that, uh, what is it, Corona 5 and Modelo mm-hmm. are actually beating out Budweiser and Bud Light. Rightly so. Which are also owned, ironically, by... InBev. InBev. Yep. So it's a win-win. They just have uh, different uh, distributors in different countries. and you know, It's a whole pyramid type. Setup. It's just a win-win for everybody. Yeah. Have a drink on me. That's right. So, uh, you know, as, as we near I'm our New Year's, I'm honestly surprised that uh, that Bud Light was actually in a position such as the top of the market. Like that, that was what surprised me about the story. Nothing else about the story surprised me. It was the fact that Bud Light was considered the number one selling beer. Really. Yeah. I'm expected Ew. to believe that. Yeah. That piss water. Horse light for me. Silver bullet, please. Taste of the Rockies. No, I only drink Mexican beer and, and an occasional Guinness. That's it. 
Dos Equis. Stay thirsty, my friend. Yeah. Keep it moist. Dos Equis, Modelo. Uh, even I, I've, I've had a Victoria every now and then. I'm not going to lie. What about Pilsner? Eh, I'm not much of a Pilsner person. I like uh, I tend to I tend to the darker in most things. Yeah, it, it's that includes blanc. women. It it it's a it's a cerveza blanca. Oh, speaking of which, breaking news from the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh oh, what happened? Now the. Tren Interoceanico that I've mentioned numerous times that will connect the Gulf of Mexico to the Pacific Ocean with regular passenger service as well as increased intermodal freight service as an alternative to the Panama Canal, which is having issues because Catun Lake, uh, right. which is used to lock ships across the Continental Divide, is a, basically a mud puddle right now. Almost completely dry. Record droughts. So <laughs> that's still not yet opening my knowledge he still hasn't even inaugurated the train it's been delayed in the meantime the trend maya began offering passenger service from cancun international airport up near playa del carmen and across through chichen itza to uh merida on its way to campeche um oh, and nice. so uh, Trend Maya is now in operation. Good. Very controversial project there. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I was trying to find photos, like satellite photos, aerial photos, maps showing the Trend Maya. Can't find anything of it. Huh. Why do you think and that the is? Well, the <clears throat> reason why is because it was supposed to take four years to build, and AMLO said he wanted people riding that train before he left office. So instead of doing it in four years, how about doing it in 14 months? Wait, do it in eight months. Oh, <laughs> can you do it in five months instead? And Lo and behold, uh, whatever. four months later, they're already running trains. So it's has been built so quickly at warp speed. Yeah. Well, that, they got, like they got prisons in Mexico too. So if they need labor, they can go find it. Well, like there there there's double clips that go in each clip to hold the rail to the concrete ties. Well, they're just using one clip. It's supposed to have two tracks. They've graded for the two tracks and got the bridges and tunnels for two tracks. Hold on. But they just laid one track real quick. Right. Again, everything real quick, real quick. Uh, oh, my observation. Late 2001. Yeah, we may 2007. need to, to wrap this up real quick, real quick. The bony because, Patriot uh, era. The demon no, has no, no. awoken. Oh, no. Yeah. The rise of Obama, hope and change, rise of SJW, the rest of social justice for shit lives. Yeah. WT Steed trying to nail down the epochs that we've uh, withstood thus far. But, um, oh, 2024 is a whole new ball game, folks. And we're right here at the precipice. And if there's two things I could not stress enough for coming attractions in 2024, it's going to be Chinese mushroom festivals and green lockdown. Lockdown for climate because the cyber polygon computers crashed the servers. And while you're sheltering in place, take some Chinese mushrooms and get psychedelic. And here it the is, United the other States bookend. bringing down a Chinese balloon that was traveling across the United States. Time to bring States this Chinese party to an end. <laughs> over parts of North and South Carolina. Order the Pentagon to shoot it down on Wednesday as soon as possible. 
they decided that the best time to do that was as it got over water outside within our within 12 mile limit. They successfully took it down. In response, the FAA temporarily closing airspace for parts of the two states, issuing a statement that reads in part, the FAA has paused departures and arrivals to support the Department of Defense in a national It's a different culture. Snakeskin guitars, different music. It's an acquired taste. Try using chopsticks. And for the Chinese in the audience, uh, Diona did include Chinese subtitles. You're welcome. Shi Shi, Guan Chao Ma. Yeah, that's it. Good evening. I really got to work on my Chinese, but I won't. Man, this really compliments your thumbnail, Crystal. I got to say. right on the nose it's a nice bookend started with some mal and with some snake skin dung guitar or whatever that is. and there it goes bye bye Chinese weather balloon got him folks we hardly knew ye we got him yeah Look at those F 15s. That balloon never stood a chance for those. Those glorious stiffer and sheep that reminded us hey, you want a revolution in the government? Better have some F 15s, buddy. Boom. China. So, uh, I wanted to have yourself a visit. Be a tourist in China. Yeah, we have something like that to look forward to in, in just a few days, which is uh, awesome. Because, again, January is playoff football, so you can't, you can't really have anything that competes with playoff football, right? Otherwise, it'll be obvious that nah, the, the viewer numbers for the NFL aren't aren't actually what they're telling you they are. Who's going to be the musical dance not. for the Super Bowl this year? I thought it was Taylor Swift. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Because I remember hearing uh, during the fall at some point uh, about yeah. a storyline of, of her playing the Super Bowl and the Chiefs win the Super Bowl and right uh, something like that. Oh god. I don't know. I don't follow the sports ball anymore. Oh god. The only, you know, I'm just hoping that we can get Hannah Indiana on one of those um Super Bowl commercials. Oh, I'm sure they will. Probably not this year. This year it's probably a little too early. Too soon? I think too it's soon. too soon. I what think about people some... are starting to catch on that AI is bullshit. Well, what about some dancing Boston dynamic robots or something? Yeah, that's fine. I'm telling you, man. That's fine. Drizzle, Super Bowl rolls out the best commercials, dude. 
I mean, how many millions I, I of dollars did they spend care. for those stupid fucking commercials? It goes up every single year. Every that, single uh, year. I want to say last time I was paying attention, it was like at least five million. Just to just for a thirty second spot. Five million dollars. Yeah. That's not counting what you pay to actually produce the commercial. That's just to get it in the rotation. What are wasn't, the chances? Wasn't there a time when that was called payola? Yeah. I, there's really, really good chances that we could see some actual pro-Zionist commercials and advertisements during the Super Bowl. They got that kind of money. They've been spending on YouTube. They've been spending oh, on shit. TikTok. We're over three hours. <laughs> I totally forgot about the Hasbro appeal. Like, yeah. get the new Hasbro app for your phone, Goy. Don't believe your lying eyes and lying ears. We've got the facts to help you support the Zionist cause from your own home. All right, folks, yeah. we are we are way over. Uh, it's time for us to get out of here. It's time for us to get this calendar flipped over. It's time for me to corral this fucking demon uh, that is masquerading as a cat in my house. So uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we will see you next year. It's only good. Yeah, no. Dark safety.